Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca and it's time for some more of my heaven and earth design. I am getting there. Um, I do have a colour, by the way, that is finished. Uh, number 894. I saved the pot. I have taken it out of my storage, but I saved the pot to let you know that I'd finished so I can pop that away in my spares. So let me get you zoomed in. I'm just using my standard pink tray and I seem to be on the purple pen at the moment. I've not changed that up, but I think we have a bit of a bitty bit today. We shall see how it goes. Um, yeah, still got some more of the confetti. Lots of the confetti to deal with as the blossom sort of finishes up. I've had quite a few blues come in on this section. We seem to be seeing quite a bit of the lighter blues. But yeah, still loads and loads of confetti i do have a couple of colors in this pink i tend to pick one for a section that i'm working on but it could be different from the section i worked on before it tends to vary but i don't think it really matters in the grand scheme of things with the pinks i say i just pick one of the two shades that i have and do that for that whole section Occasionally I end up mixing it up with something else, but it looks so pink. Right, I have lots and lots of comments on Heaven and Earth Design. I actually didn't get the whip and chat done last week, so apologies for that, but we are back this week. I am coming up to row 780, so I'll be up to 780 when I finish this. Um, and I think it's after the 800s, some of the colours that I checked um, start to maybe run out a little bit more, which would be quite nice to see some of the, some more colours go. It's like, get in there, it's getting there. I've not done any extra sections yet. But we'll see if that kicks in when I go further down. Maybe when I get less confetti as well. If I get some sections with less confetti, I might be more inclined. Um, but Jess, she said she's really looking forward um, to watching me work uh, with your tray, with my tray tower set up. Um, she said it will be it will amaze you how much it speed thing, speeds things up yes i do expect it to speed things up i don't have sort of like a a desk that i diamond paint on as a regular thing um, apart from in here in sort of my craft room when i'm diamond painting for whip and chats um, but if I have the tray tower set up across the back, it actually can get in the camera viewing angle for the likes of um, other videos that I do, which is what can make it a little bit tricky. But I think June Waffle is a really good time to have that set up up because that's primarily videos that I will be filming during June will be the June waffle. I've just noticed that there is a gap there. I don't know whether it was a blue colour originally but it is now. It matched and I spotted a gap so I filled it. Filled it with a diamond while I had it but I'm getting quite a lot of these blues at the beginning in this section and I haven't had these symbols for quite a while well apart from of course the last section 
but other than that these have these have sort of been a dormant colour for a bulk of the painting so it's quite nice um but yeah i'm planning on using the tray tower setup for my june waffle i will still be kitting it up because i do still want somewhere to store the diamonds but then in effect i'm going to be kitting it up twice so i'm going to kit up the diamonds into storage i'm then also going to kit up um, a set of trays and use the set of trays throughout it so i will just be picking up a tray and it will already have the right diamonds in and i'm hoping it works well if it does then i think i may do a tray set up for my second heaven and earth design my mini heaven and earth design mini beautiful light which only has 15 colours so I don't need gazillions of trays because I would need quite a run for this for this heaven and earth design um, but I'm hoping it will help me you know sort of speed up the process of doing my second heaven and earth design so it'll be really good be fun be fun to do something in a different way as well it's not going to work for me every time um, and I need to see, I need to confirm that I'll be able to move my tray set up if I do my heaven and earth design in it. But I can keep it where it is for the June waffle. And yeah, it'll, it'll be fun. I'll need it for the June waffle because I have gone for a bigger painting and it's square. Eek! Um, oh, you probably would have seen that by now, actually. I think the unboxing should have gone up yesterday. That's the thing. I know what it is, but I, it's not actually in my possession yet. So it's like making sure that I don't spill the beans too early. Uh, Cat Lady said she was brought up in South Wales. She said she taught the Welsh vocabulary vocabulary in junior school oh she was taught sorry and had to take it as a language subject for two years in comprehensive school she said but Welsh was not the language spoken at home she said it is more popular in South Wales now uh, she said the longest place name in Wales is and then she's typed it out <laughs> Uh, which is the word that Lady Dax said she learnt. I am not even going to attempt to read of that one out. Uh, she said it is a mouthful. Um, she also said, by the way, she is now 29.7% done on her Heaven and Earth Design project. Awesome. I am now on 77.71. I do keep forgetting to check my percentage wise. I seem to be on the goal to hit the 800 line at the moment because that's when I start to see more colours go according to my brief check. So I'm excited to see more colours go. Then I'll be excited, of course, to hit the 900 mark because then I'll have my final stretch to do, which, yeah, it will happen in 2023, provided nothing untoward happens. It's still going. I'm still going with it. I'm missing the odd day um, due to life and work, but... Primarily, I'm doing Monday to Friday, getting a section of it done each day and still enjoying the process of doing it. I actually I actually miss it when I don't get to do it. Oh, OK. I just dropped my stopper with all my black diamonds in the end of the tray. I purposefully put my stopper in the loose way. 
but I didn't expect it to fall out too early. So bear with me, I have black diamonds everywhere all over my desk, which I don't think you can see. I think it is just out of screenshots, but let's get them into the tray. I'm gonna use my finger to get them back in. Put my stopper back in for the next one. I'll put it in the tight away. There we go. Okay, reset done. Um, oh. It's going to be one of those days. I can see it happening. Uh, jo, she says, your son has amazing patience to look for the container of the fallen drill. So, yeah, my, my son, sorry, has been doing a diamond painting. And he found a drop drill and he enjoyed matching it up with a load of purples. He enjoyed finding which one it was supposed to go in. Um... She said it made her laugh at herself because most of the drills in her trashy are fallen drills that she got too lazy to match up. As always, she says thank you for the company and the great waffle. Yeah, that's where a lot of my drills in my trashy tray are, are fallen drills. That or the ones on the floor that the Hoover will get later on. Um, I actually had one floating about in this tray as I took it off the shelf, ready to do today's whip and chat, which was probably one of the last numbers I did on my section yesterday. And I just turned the tray upside down and let it fall to the floor. And that can be got with the hoover later. I was like, I am not figuring that out. It's like this black one here that obviously I didn't pick up. I'm going to put it there for quite often. I have quite a few different diamonds. Um, there is a few more scattered up here that are ones that I often sort of lose in the process of doing my heaven and earth design. Either they fall out when I'm tipping the diamonds back into the tray or when I'm tipping them into the tray, I might get a bit heavy handed. Um, or they're ones that, you know, when you see, look, there's another one. Um, they're ones that I've either made a mess with or ones that, you know, you pick up on the end of your pen and you lose at some point on the way to the diamond painting. You don't quite know where it goes. There's a few of those as well. Uh, but more often than not, they're ones that I find just sat on top of the diamond painting after I've finished. And I have chosen to just stick them down the side so that if ever I have a diamond that has come out, I will find one from down the side and pop it in. Because this does get rolled up and unrolled every day. Um, and it does occasionally lose a diamond. A bit like the one I filled in before. I filled it in with a blue. It may have been a blue, it may have been a pink. But because it's only one diamond, I think I get away with it a little bit better. I do find I use the lid of my diamonds as well for any sort of amount of diamonds that is normally less than about five. I found that has been a little bit quicker for me to be able to get those odd diamonds, especially when it is confetti central like it is now. Uh, Anne-Marie, she says, yay. She says she's doing a happy dance. Uh, got a zero drill finally. That was the colour that went a couple of weeks ago. She said she would definitely move over to my new case. She says you have a bit to go so it would be worth it. Yeah, I did think about moving over to the Art Dot case for this Heaven and Earth design. Um, it's a nice process. I would have enjoyed the process. However, when I worked out my video schedule, because of course I'd want to show you guys doing it. 
I actually had enough content for May with kits that I finish, kits that I want to kit up before June. Um, shop launches, logbook updates, unboxings, all the rest of it. I actually had enough videos to have five videos a week. I think I've actually got six on this channel next week. So I decided not to do it. I think I will use it for my other heaven and earth design on the canvas. I think I will just use it for that rather than kit up another one right now. Uh, but she says she has the same case for a Josephine wall that has 230-ish colours, uh, which is from the one with Diamond Art. She said she might use the tray holders for the most used colours when she gets around to it. She said, thanks again for everything that you do. She says, uh, you really listen to your customers slash subscribers. Well, yeah, we're in it together is, is my sort of thought on that one. Um, you know, a lot of you guys have been here for the whole sort of journey. And even those that haven't, you know, have joined in with gusto. Um, so yeah, just listen to what you guys want. Why have I got a, co I've got another comment. I had one on my last whip and chat, but it's not actually showing a comment. I'll have a refresh in a bit and see if it appears. Um, Jaina, she says, hi, Rebecca. She says she's a recent subscriber. Um, and she says, can I just say how much I love your work? Thank you. I will always take that. Uh, she said, your voice is so lovely to listen to uh, while she's working on her diamond painting. And she says she gets excited when she sees a new whip and waffle. Many do. You are not alone. Um, she says she has two heaven and earth designs downloaded onto her computer. She says, but being a broke college student means she'll not be able to obtain all the materials to tackle them just yet. She said, one day, though, that's a goal to work towards. She said, sending lots of love from myself and my cat, Mushu. Uh, and she's hoping I'm having a wonderful day. Thank you. Yes, I am. I am filming this on Saturday which is my normal filming day. Um, Hubby has been putting together some rattan garden furniture uh, that we picked up. We've been hunting. We got the garden done last year. Um, our back patio that gets all the sun. We got that done last year and we knew we, you know, we'd want to start looking for furniture in the spring. And we did quite a bit of hunting rattan furniture. A lot of it is not cheap and some of it is not cheap and not nice. Um, but we found a really nice sort of modular couch set um, that was a very reasonable price, or at least it was reasonable compared to the prices that everybody else wanted. It has nice thick cushions. Uh, we had our, we've had our eye on it for a while. We didn't want to order it too early, but I also didn't want to wait too late. Like with any seasonal items, as soon as the weather turns, everybody starts buying it. And when you get fully into summer, you can't get hold of it for love and money. So we kept an eye. And as soon as the weather turned just a little bit, we got it ordered. And yeah, he put some together last weekend, came in three boxes. Uh, so we put a couple of chairs together last weekend and he's just finished putting it together. It's down to one. Um, putting the rest of it together. And I've been sat out there after doing Sunday's whip and chat before doing this one. Thoroughly enjoying myself sat there. Um, so yeah, I just keep telling myself 
that once I've got my videos done today, my brother-in-law's here tiling tomorrow so I can spend some time in the garden with a mixture of sitting. It's not supposed to be warm tomorrow, but it's not supposed to rain either. So as long as the wind lays off, I think it'll be a good day. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of weeding around the edges. Hobby mowed the lawn the other day. So a little bit of weeding and a little bit of sitting, I think and enjoying it before the weather turns again because of course it is spring and it goes through waves waves of being nice and not um, and yeah they can do the work doing the tiling and I'll grout it later I seem to have got the job of grouting the tiles um, but I stay out the way when they're fitting them one side of the kitchen is done just needs a little touch up of grout but yeah having a good day today getting a little bit of the nice weather I wouldn't say sunshine it's not full-on sunshine but it's not freezing cold either getting a little bit of that mixed in with some videos and now I'm getting to have the design done Um, Darcy, she said, hi Rebecca, she said she wants to know if Heaven and Earth Design have the same symbols for all of the paintings. Um, she says, wanting to get a Heaven and Earth Design going, she says, but she's not sure if she can handle penning the symbols on each container. She said, at this time, she doesn't have a printer that will print out all the papers for one. She said she can only feed one paper at a time. Um, no, sorry, but no, they don't. Um, each chart, while they have symbols that they use sort of consistently, they're not, or it's not one symbol for one DMC number. They um, change according to which chart you're doing. Um, we do have the option in the shop for us to create stickers for you for your chart if you want to do that um, but otherwise alternatively I would just suggest breaking it up bit by bit to do your symbols and just have it as a little 10 minute task each day until all your symbols are done just do 10 minutes each time because it's always a bit more manageable if it's bite size Oh, definitely got some of this colour. We do have a bit of blockiness, albeit only a little bit. Um, Kim, she says, oh, she says, a tray with no lines for special shaped drills for the likes of teardrops and larger round diamonds, she said, would be awesome. Yes, I have put in the request to Hubby. He does need to alter the design and we need to be able to free up a printer to print them. Probably we'll just do them in one colour to start off with and um, see how it goes basically. But yes, it is on our to-do list is to do a tray in both sizes but with no lines um, to be used for special drill paintings. Maybe if you've got a load of diamonds mixed up and you just want something to contain them while you split them up and move them into the right places. Um, yeah. We will make it happen as soon as we can. Um, okay, let me just have a quick refresh of the comments, see if I can get these two back because I've just had somebody comment to say sorry for leaving two long comments but unfortunately I can't see their first long comments okay no so apologies to Sarah B and Lady Dax for some reason it is not showing me um one of your comments let me I've just tried commenting on one of them to see if it would let me see 
the answer, you know, the actual comment, but it's not. Um, so apologies that I can't read those out. But Sarah B has left a second comment. She said, um, she says, sorry for two long comments on one video, but you asked if we thought you should move your heaven and earth design diamonds into your art dot case or not. She said she has been giving it some thought while listening to the rest of the waffle. Uh, she said she initially thought no, as it would be too much work. Uh, but then you were saying how much you like kitting up, which I do. I must admit, um, and, and the process of finding all the diamonds for the Heaven and Earth design, and she changed her mind. Uh, she said she does think that I should move my diamonds to the art box case. Uh, she said it would take up less space for you. She said, and we get one or two videos out, extra videos out of it. She said, win, win. And yet, yeah, under normal circumstances, I think it would have been a win. Um, my The amount of videos I have to be able to film, uh, keeping it mixed up with unboxings, preparations, completed, all the rest of it, can vary. So there are some times when I don't have anywhere near say as many videos just due to how much I've been able to diamond paint governs it a lot of the time uh, how many things I've been able to get done I know I did actually try to finish one of my um, paint gem sets to be able to have a de-kitting video you know something that was completed when I was working on cosmic because that, you know, was a big painting that took a while. Um, but I then have periods of time where I have loads. So I currently have quite a bit, um, quite a few videos to do, what with um, unboxings from launches that companies are having. With the June Waffle kitting up, I have um, two empty paint gem boxes that need kitting up um, that I want to get diamond paintings in so that they are ready to go when I'm able to do them. Um, so yeah, I've actually hit a period of time when I don't have a shortage of videos to do. I have a shortage of time to get them done, but I don't have the shortage of ideas or things to do. Um, so I very much appreciate all your opinions and thoughts on it. And so happy that, you know, if it was something that I wanted slash needed to do, I would have the support to do it. Um, but since I made that video, I have been able to work out my schedule for pretty much the whole month of May. Um, and then we go into June Waffle, which of course June Waffle is busy with doing a diamond painting every day of the month. Um, and hopefully this will be finished shortly afterwards. And that's probably the reason as well that it is not worth um, me changing it because I would be changing it, put the video up in July and then be finishing it a few weeks later. Cross fingers, hopefully. Uh, Deb says, hi, Rebecca. She says, Little Dreamer's Tree is looking amazing. She says, just a thought. She says, how about finishing it off by using it as your June waffle project. That is a good idea as well, to have used it for June waffle. I hadn't actually read that one before I've now decided on a painting I'm gonna do. Um, but no, that would have been an extremely good idea because I could have counted out my sections and actually had it as a full on intense um, but yeah, I've decided on 
I've already decided on the painting I'm doing now and spoke about it in too many videos that I've already filmed. But good idea, Deb. Maybe next year we'll be finishing up a different one. I will keep it in my mind. Uh, Anna says she would be interested in getting a um, a couple of the smaller zesty trays without the lines in them. She said she thinks they would work perfect, especially for special diamond paintings, uh, which she seems to have a ton of. I go through phases. I have I have a few, but then I go through a phase where I decide to actually have like one or two evenings where I just do loads of special diamond paintings um, and my staff seems to go down and then I build it up and then I do the same again. I go through phases with special diamond paintings but yeah we will definitely get on that. I will see how soon Hubby can get me the files ready um, and then I'll see how soon I can free up a printer to be able to get some printed and then we can get them in the shop as an option because say I know it's it's not going to be for everyone but it also may well be just that tray that is handy to have um, for when you may or may not need it. We'll start off with one colour and um, maybe expand expand the range as time goes on um yeah a lot of it is is how much i can free up a printer because the printers are working like nobody's business uh, we did put them to good use the month that we didn't launch any limited trays due to the issues with international postage and royal mail at the beginning of the year um, we put the printers to good use printing all sorts of different colour trays for using in the toolkit bundles that we've that we released last month. Um, but yeah, how much I can free up ones for trays with no lines, we shall see. Brianne, she says she loves learning different words for things in our global group. She says in the US the clear tape is called scotch tape uh, because like cello for UK scotch is the big popular brand um, so now it's synonymous for that type of tape. She says and she will admit that even after watching me for over two years uh, she still smiles every time I talk about a rubber for an eraser. Uh, she says she just can't help herself. Well, there we go. You got to smile again, Brianne. But yeah, rubber was the common word, erases the posh word um, in the UK. That, that's my view of it anyway. If you say eraser, you're being a bit posh. Uh, Jeanette said she would also love to get a tray without the lines. Um, it would be great to do special. She says she was just thinking about that yesterday. She said uh, special drills get stuck in the ridges of a regular tray. She says get that 3D printer going. I need to get the hobby going first. I did mention it. I have mentioned it to him. Um, I will see if I can give him a kick this weekend and see how quick I can get a printer printing some of them. Maybe um, we do it as sort of a, a pre-order print on demand type thing. I just need to earmark a printer to be able to put the white on and keep printing white. Because at the moment they're printing um, next month's limited colour uh, restocks of things you know that need topping up because they're getting a bit low um, they're also working a lot on green pale green which is going to be our new standard basic color to bring in to the little family 
join the family of colours that are available all the time. Uh, Wendy, she says she has been cross stitching for years and she's just started trying diamond painting about a month ago. She says while she enjoys diamond painting and she has bought quite a few kits, she said cross stitching is still her first love. Uh, instead of giving a day a week to diamond painting, what she does is she gives herself an hour each evening to diamond painting and then the rest of the night is for cross stitch. That's a good way to do it. If you've got something that you enjoy and something that you love just that little bit more, then divvy up your time accordingly. Um, if you've got things that you love, you know, the same amount and, you know, having a good chunk of time to do it, then, you know, it may be a matter of one day for this and one day for that because it because you want that chunk of time. But if it's something that you can pick up and put down and do over a longer period of time, a bit like cross stitch and diamond painting are, Yes, it takes longer, but you can do small sections. Um, then getting to do both every evening is awesome. You can do both. Just spread it out. Oh, just over halfway on today's section. If I can find the next colour that I'm going to have. There we go. Next case time change my battery, change my case, we're off again, we're off. Um, Lisa's, Lisa said this is turning out just gorgeous, she said question for you, she said are all the symbols and DMC codes the same for all heaven and earth design patterns? Um, no Lisa, it's very much like diamond painting, the codes do change between DMC numbers um, and Heaven and Earth Designs use the whole cross stitch thread availability of DMC numbers. So there are some patterns that you do need to convert to one that is available in diamonds, which sometimes means you end up with two of the same colour using different patterns in one of the charts. April, she says, yay. She says she got her very white Add More Zest tray today. She said, and it's so smooth and lovely. She says, thank you. She says, the shape is new to me. So that will take a little bit of getting used to, uh, but she loves it. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Um, our trays can actually be held two different ways. Depend well, they can be held a few different ways, but two different angles is probably the better way of saying it. Depending on what suits you, what suits your hands, um, whether your hands need to change. So you can hold them on these little thumb rests. Uh, sometimes people will hold them with a bit more hand underneath for support. Um, but I also turn my tray round and hold it by popping this into the crook of my hand and having a loop. Uh, it depends on what side my diamonds are on <laughs> because if my diamonds are on this side because I've used all these up, then I turn it round. Um, you can also, you say, there's a few different ways to hold it, um, but don't forget you can turn your tray round uh, and if you keep your diamonds closer uh, to your painting, it of course takes less time to go from tray or in this case pot to diamond painting which also can help shave those few milliseconds off what you're doing and can make things a little bit quicker. That's why when it's only a couple of diamonds I like to tip it into the pot because it saves that time and it saves trying to just tip one diamond out for example is always going to be hard but a few in the lid 
you get enough to get those one or two the right way up. It won't work for a big section, but it works great for one or two. Occasionally, I have to shake it about four times to get them the right way up, but you get, you get the grasp of it. And then when I have loads, I tip them into the tray and then the tray will get them all to line up. Anne Smith says it's looking good. Thank you. Um, and then Amanda, she says uh, she just wanted to say what she was going to use it for as she thought it would be easier to kit up. I'm guessing that's from a previous comment and I can't remember because it's been a couple of weeks that's the only thing when I'm behind I sometimes forget what the comments relate to uh, Bilara she says she found recently um, an amazing way of stitching a heaven and earth design apparently it is called royal rose uh, she says there's a full tutorial series of, let me mark that off, um, of the lady who invented it. She said she got very fast with no mistakes since then. She says, can she just recommend this method? You can. There are, you know, many of us that, that sometimes are stuck in our ways. Um, and then there are others of us that, you know, take a little while to warm up, probably me sometimes, takes a little while to warm up to a different way of doing things. But when I get there, it's great. Okay, why have I got, because I'm in the wrong section. I was like, I thought I'd placed a diamond in the wrong place, but no, I was just in the wrong place. Um, yeah, that would be another good, interesting one um, for you cross stitchers out there to have a look at so royal rose give that a go report back um Grail Gran, she says hi she says she knows that i have the black and white heaven and earth design she says but do you have another she said, which heaven and earth design is next in the queue that I've not seen? And she says, will you do a giant one like this again? Um, yeah, so I have the black and white one that I am working on on a blank canvas. Just the same as this. Uh, it's just a mini version. It is black and white. It has 15 colours. And I thought it'd be good to use quite a few of the black, whites and greys that I have. I'm just wondering if I've just missed a 5200 colour. Okay, I'll have a look at that in a minute. Um, the other one that I have is actually, it's a heaven and earth design, but it is one of their canvas heaven and earth design. Um, so it is the chart printed onto the canvas in black and white um so it looks similar to a mystery but of course i know what the painting is and it's just the canvas so i have to buy the diamonds let me just check was that a five two hundred five five hundred yes it was oh pickle sticks so this is what happens sometimes with ones in the top corner i missed them and then i get annoyed that i've missed it and I've even got the wrong case and I want to fill it in before I go past it again. So you highlight that one, do that one and then go back to my 938 and in turn 939. There are a couple of sections on this Heaven and Earth design, mainly the other side of it, that I've actually done 939 first. On this canvas 939 is the symbol that is uh, just a square block. Black is the square with the hole in it but 939 is just a square block and if you have a lot of 939 on the page I find you think you've done it even though you've not 
because the symbol, if it'll focus, because the symbol is a solid square, it ends up looking blacked out even though it's not. So a bit like when I first started right at the top when it had loads of 939, I have done some where I have filled in the 939 first and then gone back to doing DMC order. Which you may or may not see in the video, depends what section I end up doing next week. Um, Trailer Grant also says, will you do a giant one like this again? Uh, never say never. I am going to have a break from a blank canvas heaven and earth design for a while. I think if I do one again, um, I am going to do very much do what I'm doing now and set it up so that I do a section a day so I need to be sure that that's something that I can take on um, but I don't want it to stall like it has like it has done for this one um, I don't want it to go on for quite as long um, so yeah, it is a possibility. I may do another one. I love the fact that I can use my spares. Um, and, you know, they're not going to waste. Uh, I love the challenge of this big one. Um, and I know I'm going to love the satisfaction when it's finished. Uh, and when it's all said and done. I know I'm going to love that as well. So... It's a never say never, but I haven't gone looking or anything like that over what, because I want to finish my black and white one and do my blank canvas with spare diamonds first. Um, and I know that one will be a lot easier because I won't have to mark off the tablet like I am doing and I can treat it more so like a normal diamond painting albeit a bigger one with a lot more colours. I can't even remember how many colours it's got. I should probably look at that at some point. Megan's actually got two of the blank canvases. Goodness knows how that's going to fare for her. <laughs> she might get to it when she's 60. Uh, Cat Lady says she has a quick stitch from Heaven and Earth Design. She said it is 88 colours. She said the only thing she's noticed are either detail is the title on the cover of a book, which is not clear. Uh, on the large painting, she says, and on this smaller painting, she said it's not there other than a slight difference in colour. She says she's now 47% done on her quick stitch heaven and earth design. Uh, Kim, she says she believes that a quick stitch is a smaller portion of a full picture as opposed to a mini pitch, mini, which is a smaller version of the whole art piece. She said hopes, she hopes that makes sense. That does make sense. So there you go. A quick stitch will actually be more detail, but less of the image. So you get a small, it's like just doing the bottom half of, of this tree or the top half of the tree and not doing the bottom of it. Um, whereas a mini would be the whole tree shrunk down. Okay, so completely different to what I thought it was. <laughs> but say, I haven't been on Heaven and Earth Designs website for a while because... I could end up down a rabbit hole and I have a mission to complete. I have a heaven and earth design to finish. I have a couple of heaven and earth designs to finish and I have a canvas to start with the intention of finishing. I need to do that first. Uh, Amy says with parking, she says you can do it with the needle attached. Um, she says you can do a loop around the needle so the needle doesn't fall off. Yes, that's what I'd need to do. 
um, because taking the thread off the needle and putting it back on would get very old very quick with me. I know it would. I know what I'm like. Um, Amy says she also puts her paper charts on Pattern Keeper um, and puts parked on there. She says, but um, if you want to do the highlighting, she suggests that you do it in a lighter colour. See, all these suggestions for people that want to try a new cross stitch techniques. Awesome. Uh, Sylvia says, in Heaven and Earth Design, she said, a mini is the whole picture compressed down in size and it'll lose detail. Uh, whereas a quick stitch is a portion of the picture blown up um, that will give you better detail than a mini. She said, if you search for Amy Stewart's A Stitch in Time, you can compare the regular with the mini as well as the quick stitch pieces. She says, those are vignettes Vignettes of the larger picture with more prominent detail. There we go. I knew you guys had come to my rescue. Um, I Siggy says hi and thank you for your whip and waffles. Uh, she says she's a dedicated lurker to these videos. She said your heaven and earth design is gorgeous. Thank you. Um, and coming along so well. She said usually she would be doing some crafts while listening to the waffle. Uh, while listening to me waffle away, she says, but occasionally she will just listen and watch. Uh, she said she has a question about shipping to Europe. Uh, she says, do you still have to ship with tracking or is your postal service caught up and you can send it as a parcel without tracking? She said, sorry if my English is off. It's not her native language. Uh, your English is probably better than most English people. So don't worry about your English. I see. Um, but yes, for the last launch, we have brought back um, standard shipping. Shipping to other countries seems to be taking as long as it usually did. In fact, some of them are actually seem to be arriving quicker than they used to um, before the cyber attack so we have brought back standard shipping we've actually been able to negotiate a rate that enables us to bring back shipping cheaper for both tracked and standard um, international wise so Europe etc so yeah, that has been switched on at checkout. You've now got two different options for shipping. Um, for US shipping, we have been able to get tracking for the same price as standard shipping. So we've been able to get tracked for all our shipments to the US. They can be tracked via USPS as soon as they have the parcel. Um, so we've updated that as well and ditched the more expensive option for US. So yeah, we're constantly working with them to get better deals as much as possible. We're always trying to find better deals. Um, but yeah, we've managed to find the better deal there. Basically what happens with our US orders, they are shipped to the US um, in bulk via DHL so they are sent over um, in a big lot to DHL through DHL and then DHL sort it and pass it on to USPS the only problem we've had is Atlanta seems to be a little bit slow at the moment um, they actually have one of our containers that they have decided they want to inspect personally in person so they've decided they want to do a spot check on the whole consignment um, at customs so it is currently 
stocking customs waiting for them to hand check it all before they pass it on to USPS and it can get to our customers. But primarily, normally, when they don't decide they want to do a spot inspection, things are getting to the US a bit quicker, which is good news too. Uh, we like speed because, yeah, we all want our goodies as quick as possible. And I completely understand that. Uh, but yeah, international is now back to normal. As much as it can be. Okay, last, last one. Da -da. Still got quite a few colours to go though. It's all these pinks. I'll be so glad when this confetti stuff is done. It looks nice. Don't get me wrong, but the amount of times I open pots for one or two drills and then have a little bit of a splurge for a section and then go back to one or two, I'll be glad to be done with the with this section. Uh, small sugar. Not sure what that's short for. Uh, she said she got her order yesterday uh, and it came quicker than it was expected. Oh, that's always good. Um, she said she loves everything. She said she got a tray, a pen and some glue dots. She said it has really put her love back into diamond painting for her um, as she was using the beginner tool toolkit um, that diamond paintings come with she says and while they are really good when you first start out she said she was getting frustrated with the pen uh, she says thank you and love your videos well enjoy your goodies you are officially a dedicated diamond painter when you have your own tools it's like with anything the tools that you get do the job um, you know, they do the job enough, but when you really get a love for something, you just want that little bit nicer quality. Um, it just puts a smile on your face when you're doing your diamond paintings. Sarah B, she says, hi, Rebecca. She says, wow, 75% complete. She says, what an amazing milestone. She says, congratulations. I'm definitely getting there this year, aren't I? Uh, she says, also, she says, she wholeheartedly agrees that diamond painting is so helpful, she says, for her mental health. She says she has a lot of stress, like most people seem to have. Uh, and she finds that diamond painting really helps her to switch off her brain for a while and just stop thinking that bit too much. Uh, she, th she says, thanks as always for a great video and for allowing us to cheer you on. Well, thank you all for cheering me on. Heaven and Earth designers never progressed so much. Uh, I don't even think it progressed so much when I first started it. It's definitely continued on its goal for a lot longer this year than it has done in the past. And that didn't go there, did it? Nope. That was the wrong square. I think I know why I keep putting these in the wrong square. It needs to go in that one. What I need to do is nudge this just a little bit more. Normally, I try and line the middle of this up with my middle section, and then I'm pretty good at judging the other sides being out a little bit. But I have been consciously, apart from today, because I was trying to make sure I could fit my computer on the table easy enough. Um, I have been sort of lining up middle with middle. And as I say, it helps me judge where the rest need to go. So let's see if I can fix what I was doing wrong. 
and maybe stop putting things down in the wrong place. Still need to check every now and then, especially when I have lots of little gaps. Um, Carp Dien says, Smith beads canvases are amazing. She said she messaged them to order her size. She says it does take a while, but it's poured glue and a soft backing with scalloped edges. She said it's a dream to work with. Awesome. If I ever do another one, I may have to try a Smith's bead canvas and give them a go because I if I did another one I would definitely want to do poured glue that's for sure diamond painting has come on so much um, that a poured glue canvas would definitely be the way forward definitely definitely Uh, Tracy, she says, hi Rebecca, she says, thanks for the whipping chat. She said she sits and works on either her 365 day temperature crochet blanket for her sister, um, where you choose either the high temperature or the low temperature to do for the year. I have seen these before. Uh, and choose colours to represent that temperature. She says, so for example, she's chose the high of the day as the temperature to do. Um, and on March the 30th, it was 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 21 degrees Celsius. And the colour she used for that was orange. So it's like the temperature that it is picks your pattern and you just assign a colour to each one. I've put another one in the wrong place. I put that pink one in the wrong place. I am doing this more and more on Whip and Waffles. There we go, let's try that. Luckily, because this pattern keeper changes the colour and it was a bright pink. It's helped me find where I did it wrong. As long as it's roughly right, but if I can see where I've done it wrong, then I'll fix it. Um, she says, or if she's not doing the crochet blanket, she diamond paints. She said she heard me talk about confetti, she said, and she had to laugh because her 80 by 30 painting, she said, is nothing but confetti. Um, she says, you keep me entertained while I'm struggling through both. So she said, thanks again, much love from the US. See, I can enjoy confetti. When it's printed on the canvas, it doesn't annoy me as much. Um, I like to vary between the two. So if I'm doing a very heavy confetti painting, I like something that's either not as heavy. So a lot of diamond art clubs for a bit, for, for example, like Cosmic Trip. While it changes colours often, there's a nice block of them quite often. Um, and you do nice little block sections. As long as I can vary it up with that, then I'm good. Um, and then I'll, I'll like something, you know, that's confetti the next time I do a painting. I like to mix, mix it up. Um, but this at the moment and the diamonds going everywhere and me having to look from here to here. Every now and then I'm just, I'm over it. <laughs> And I'm kind of over it at the moment, <laughs> which is why I want this blossom to be done so that I can stop doing, it will probably still be confetti. It will just be a different type of confetti. But hey, if I see some numbers starting to go, it'll be all the better. I've got one here that I said I've done and I've not actually done it. Okay, time for black. One of those black from before. Let's just stick you there. 
because as I said, I'm over the confetti. It still looks so bitty to me and I've only got half of the case left to do. Um, oh, purple. Let's put some purple in. Uh, Anna said she just went to check the Uniquely Yours Down Under site again to see if the blanks were back. Um, she says, but she got a message saying that the site was temporarily sus was suspended. She said she's hoping that it's temporary due to the move. Um, she says she she already has one heaven and earth design crown jewel canvas, which is the canvas that I have. Uh, she says, and the 23 colours needed for it. Um, she says, but she wanted to try at least one doing it my way. Um, she says, maybe someday. She said she did a Josephine Walls painting, Never Tickle a Sleeping Dragon, from Diamond Painting Deutschland. Uh, she said it had 215 colours and took her seven months to do it. Wow. Um, she says lots of green confetti, she said, but it does look awesome. I can imagine it does. Sometimes confetti really, really works. Um, the Dreamers Designs, Anne-Marie Bond that I did, that looks amazing with all the colours and all the confetti. Um, but yeah, as long as I can tip a load of colours into my tray, I'm happy. <coughs> uh, Diamond Sparkle Chase said she started her Little Dreamers Tree Max Colours uh, three days ago. She said she's done 5.49%. Uh, she said she is also waiting on diamonds that she ordered, but they're stuck in customs. She said, have a lovely day from Texas. Maybe your diamonds are stuck in Atlanta. That seems to be the sort of go through that seems to be holding things up at the moment. Maybe they're having a shake up and a double check of everything. Maybe they'll uh, sort themselves out soon. Hopefully, we can hope. Still very bitty. Not many colours left to do. There's the bottom of my colour list. And yet it still looks like confetti. So some of these gaps filled in. Uh, Ozzy Stitcherista says, if anything, she says she thinks that Quick Stitch has more detail than a regular heaven and earth design since it's a small portion of a big image she says but that in itself can often still be a very large piece um, so bear in mind quick stitches <coughs> can still be big uh, debbie says she's doing artwork called Luminario as both a diamond painting and a cross stitch. Brave soldier. Uh, she says the diamond painting will only take about three months, um, but the cross stitch will take about three years. That's the thing, isn't it? Trying to do a comparison. <coughs> because I was thinking of doing one um, that I've already done as a cross stitch. That was a picture of my nan. Um, and doing that as a diamond painting. Because the cross stitch is already done. <laughs> um, she did say when it comes to threading um, the needle constantly. Um, she says it is the same thing as sort of changing colours on a diamond painting. She says after a while it does become second nature um, and you don't think about it as much. Now that's a fair point as well. We do it often enough on diamond painting, tipping the diamonds back in. 
and don't get as frustrated by it. I'm hoping I won't get spoilt when I use my trays um, for June waffle um, and decide that I need to do the same for everything. Um, Elizabeth says, hi Rebecca, she says the cross stitch conversion looks easy to her. She says, well it would, she said her AD, ADHD finds any difficult task easy and any easy task difficult. You're just unique is what you are, Elizabeth. Sometimes I love a good complicated project to sort of sink my teeth into, make sense of in my head and just do it. Um, and then sometimes I try and multitask on the simple tasks and my brain goes, what on earth are you doing? I don't like you. And uh, just can't cope with it. But it's all good. It's what makes us who we are. Right, that's cleared the wood for the trees a bit. And I've spotted one that I've missed over here as well. That one is now waiting to the end. Figure out what that one is in a minute. Uh, Alaya says she dropped she dropped her just refilled 310 on her dark blue carpet last week um, and she's still finding drills. Those 310s have a lot to answer for. Um, yeah, I'd just hoover them all up. I'd just be done with that one. Hoover them all and be done. That's for sure, especially if it's three tens. I've always got loads of extra three tens. I couldn't be doing with them. Uh, jo says, woohoo. She says, congratulations on reaching the 75%. She said, seeing the end of the canvas, she said, is definitely exciting. It is, every time I roll it out, it's like, oh, it's not that far till the end. I've not got that long to go. It won't be too bad. And then I realise that I've still got probably at least a month. <laughs> a month worth to do, but I'm getting there. Uh, she said the canvas and drills for her new Heaven and Earth design um, arrived last Friday. Uh, she said she plans on making it a June waffle project. Uh, she said it's only 47 by 33 centimetres. That sounds a lot more reasonable than this one. It's two and a half metres long, for goodness sake. Um, she says, but we'll see how strong, she says, her willpower is to wait um, and to and to wait uh, since this project and this min month's shop launch, she said, has proven otherwise. <laughs> Love it. Um, she says, as always, she says, thank you for a good whip and waffle. You're so welcome, Joe. Right. Is it in this case? Yes, it's in this first case again. I obviously did a very bad job right at the beginning. There, found my missing piece. Um, De Dedra says, the end is in sight with my heaven and earth design. Yes, it is. It is. And I've actually reached the end of the comments as of Saturday. Maybe this is because I didn't put one up on Thursday. But let's have a look. Let's zoom out. See, look at all that blossom. I mean, it's amazing. Don't get me wrong. But it is, it is a heck of a lot. So where did I actually start this year? All the way up here. So if I get a hold of the end of my canvas, I'm going to have to go this way. 500 is where I started, halfway. So that is my progress, and I've just found a diamond that's moved. 
I don't know if it was in somewhere. I'm not, oh, I'm seeing a hole up here. See, I do find the odd little gaps. And that's when I tend to pull one from near it. <laughs> like that. Um, but I started up here. This is this year's progress. So I've got two people, at least. I think there was somebody over here as well, but maybe I'd caught the beginning of them. It's definitely getting lighter down here. So where am I up to now? I am down here. If you can see, if I turn it up that way, this is where I am down here. So I have a little bit more confetti on this right side, but then I have quite a bit more blue coming in. And I do have a bit more of the blossom here and possibly a tiny bit at the bottom that's just gonna haunt me later, but hopefully I'll be over the confetti by then. So yeah, I've got this section to do. It often does look darker on here than it does on here. Um, so, and there is sort of part of this picture that's a little bit cut off, because that's actually the wing of this fairy that you can see here fully, but, it's getting there. It's getting there. The confetti will give me a break soon on half of the painting, if not on it all. Found another black one that's floating about. Those black got everywhere. So I'm going to stash that on the side. Give this a little run over with um, my roller, which I do pretty much every time I do a section. I do give it a run over, but then every now and then I like to give the whole thing. Normally, when I do get to this point of sort of finishing a row, it's hitting on something there. Have I got, I've got black diamonds stuck underneath it. There we go. It was rolling over black diamonds. Let me try that. A flat, tidy surface. See, this is why I should tidy up as I go along. And I like to give it a nice run over, I must say, especially when I am rolling and unrolling it. Can you hear those clicks? It's definitely clicking something in. Just to get them in as much as possible. But I'll give it a good inspect when it's finished completely. But yeah, another heaven and earth design section done. My little tally sheet. So I am over halfway um, for this year. So this year's halfway point was somewhere here. Um, this is only the second half of the project, so where I started it from. Um, but Depends. If I only do five sections a week, which is a full row, I've actually got another couple of months left. Uh, so it may end up taking another couple of months. What are we in now? April, uh, May, June. Yeah. So maybe that's why I thought I was going to finish it. So this will be sort of endish of April. That will be May. That will be June if we're talking four weeks, but I may speed up because I'm right near the end. So yeah, maybe we will see a little bit of this at the beginning of July while I get everything finalised and finished off. But thank you so much for joining me for this section. I'll be marking off my next section. I tend to cut and prep for each section as and when. I need to but I'll be getting prepped for that one next uh, definitely had a bit more 939 over this side also had a few more escapee diamonds but I can't see them off the canvas so I think I've just dropped them as I'm doing it they can sit there until I'm finished but yeah thank you so much for joining me and I'll speak to you all again soon